And shout out to Dante oh, Boxing Nation. Yeah, DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. It's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! Hey. <laughs> Gennady Golovkin is fighting his mandatory Camille next. The fight haven't been announced yet, however, he is 25 to 1 favorite against Camille. So we're gonna talk about it. How y'all doing, DBN Nation? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't and listen to these casual fans slash old media. Now shout out to the GOAT Dante for starting the new media wave. And shout out to Dante for also giving me the opportunity to post on his platform. He is truly appreciated. Now, what haven't been said about Gennady Golovkin that we could actually say? Not much. So basically, I'm going to leave it at this. Camille, I have never seen him before. However, when I did look him up on Box Rec, it's like I've seen him before. And normally, that's not a good sign because it means that he probably end up having the same faith as a lot of these fighters that we don't know about. However, for Gennady Golovkin to be mentioned on Yahoo Sport as a fighter of the decade, located number seven, I believe, even though people feel like Devryachenko beat him his last fight. They ranked him number seven over a Manny Pacquiao. And we know what Manny Pacquiao did over the past decade. I mean, the legendary fighters he beat. Just his last fight, he defeated a prime Keith Thurman, who was 30 years old and Manny Pacquiao was 40, right? Meanwhile, Gennady Golovkin lost his biggest fight against Canelo. His best win is a controversial win against Daniel Jacob. Even the Devryachenko fight. People felt that Devryachenko won the fight, including one of his greatest supporters, top three, Max Kellerman. And what makes matter worse, even his other greatest supporter, possibly Gennady Golovkin, biggest fan, Jim Lampley, stated that if he loses the Canelo fight, then Gennady Golovkin's career is a failure. And that's his greatest supporter that was hyping him up. And basically, Gennady Golovkin let him down by losing the Canelo rematch, not fighting Mexican style, and then his action after that is even worse because it's one thing if Gennady Golovkin is avoided by the Andres and the Charlos and he can't get a fight and he have to fight this guy, then it's okay. We understand. But when you have an Andre fight on the table and you promised him right after the Devryachenko fight that you're going to fight him next, you promised Devryachenko that you're going to give him a rematch and instead you fight Camille, it's just a horrible look. And I'm not even trying to give Gennady Golovkin a hard time. I'm trying my best to give him a pass, but it's hard to get a pass when you stand out in the crowd. Gennady Golovkin is fighting a fighter with only five knockouts to his name. And people have the audacity to compare Andre to Gennady Golovkin. And Dante said it best, it's like comparing rocks and oranges because people give andre a hard time for example for fighting his mandatory however unlike gennady golovkin andre on the other hand he tried to fight Saunders. Saunders turned that fight down at 168. he tried to fight canelo canelo was not interested saying you are nobody you not a challenge captain like hell he tried to fight gennady golovkin gennady golovkin said absolutely not and that could have been a unification so he have to stay busy in case one of these fighters actually grows some cojones and want to step in the ring with him. So it's the same case, however, is a different scenario. And that's what people have to understand. And I'm pretty sure they do. They just choose to act ignorant because they don't want to accept the truth. However, I'm a rub in your face. So we all know what time it is. They put Gennady Golovkin on the list of the best 25 fighters for the past 25 years before he even proved it. 
And then obviously, according to his greatest supporters, his career turned out to be a failure. And he's not even trying to rewrite his wrongs. And that's what's wrong with the picture because he just want to cash out. And some people still riding the train even though it crashed a long time ago. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to let the old media members make a mockery of the sport and rank somebody like Gennady Golovkin, who is actually supposed to be ranked as the most overhyped fighter of all time because they overhyped and overpraised Gennady Golovkin like he was a Mayweather. And look at his career today. And that's all I got for y'all today. So go ahead and subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual fans. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the fighter, Kamel, name. But at the end of the day, that's my first time seeing that name. And I don't know if I pronounced it right or wrong. But if I did or if I didn't, then my apologies. So click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post to go live on Split Decision. And follow my man, Lunatune, for the funniest boxing memes. Check out his IG link in the description box below. Keep it as G and follow my man because he's too part of the new media wave that DBN created. So shout out to the GOAT, Dante, for giving me the opportunity to post on his platform and for starting the new media wave. And I just want to let it be known that I appreciate every single one of my IQs, my brothers because I don't say it enough. However, I want to let y'all know that I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you. Peace. And we are in to be continuing on the next episode of Achi TV.